All right, this is a testing pilot, I believe. Um, I'm going to start doing shows, I guess. So I'm going to play with everything. I don't understand where I should be looking, but um, whatever. So I'm working on uh, a little piece called Divinity, and it's just about us um like really understanding why are we here who we are do we know who we are and what really motivate us to live um each day so i'm really having a, a hard time like being comfortable with the camera because i really don't know where to look my eyes are going that way maybe i should look there so while I'm talking, I'll just look to the right. I don't know. I think it's here. Anyway, um, first of all, I'm just blessed to be here. Um, I am. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't look like what I've been through, but um, I think it's really great that I don't. Um, I can't stop smiling at this point. I don't know why. Um, I just know that things happen the way they should in my life. Um, because deep down inside, my soul already tells me what is what. So, um, I ne that's what I'm never surprised at things, how, um, they fall into my life because in reality, um, my life has never went the way I wanted it to go. So, um, that has been the whole adventure for my life. My life has been a big adventure. I don't know about anybody else's, but mine has. So, um, it's always been impulsive and unexpected things that happens in my life. And that's what made me, has made me a chameleon. Um, because my whole life been an adventure. Um, I believe that's the divinity part, um, of being alive, of me being alive is that, I just flow with everything. Um, do I worry about things? Yes, I do. Um, do I stress out? Yeah, I do. Um, I stressed out yesterday. I go through things just like everybody else. But deep down inside, um, it's, the blueprint has already been made and established and written. And um, I can't do anything about that. Um, no matter what I try to do, um, uh, I, if I try to go off the course of being who I am, I, I came here to help. I came here to find out who I really was. I came here to experience life, experience people, experience lovers. I came here to experience motherhood. I came here to experience hatred. Um, I came here to experience all of the things that um, people may not want to see or hear about. But it's all divinity. So that's the reason why I made this... Um, this post, what do you want to call it, whatever, um, it's because um, what are we really motivated for? So this morning when I um, was inspired to write this, to put on the air, um, I was asking myself and everybody else the question, like what really motivates us to do what we do? Is it money? Is it love? Is it, are we motivated by fate or destiny? Do we um, Are we pushed to do things that we don't want to do? Is that destiny? Is that fate? Um, or do we just come around to um, to accept uh, our purpose and what we are meant to be and what we are meant to do? So, yeah, um, I'm knocking on 50 years old and I, I'm just now realizing who I am and I'm, I'm proud of it. And I, I really am. Um, I'm, I'm happy about that because that's all that I have is me. So um, I believe in myself. And as long as that I believe in myself. I can't fail at anything, even when I fail, because when you believe in yourself, there there is no failing. Everything is just um, everything is just an experience to get you where you need to go. So, with that being said, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and start my podcast or something because I have a little time here. Um, I was just really trying to see where I need to focus my time and confirmations. 
sometimes we receive confirmations through light codes in our um in a and um uh, when we're sleeping when we go to other realms and we get these light codes and they already tell us what to expect here um which direction to go and uh pretty much it just unfolds and as it unfolds it's just confirmation for me that um the things that happened in my life today or yesterday have i already knew about um, it, it's just crossing over. Um, and, and sometimes I get anxiety because it'd be like, whoa, I'm at this point because I sink this point. And I'd be like, whoa, I'm crossing this bridge now. I sink this bridge before. Okay. So this is where I'm, I am now. Okay. So now there's other things that I have to cross. When I get there, I'm going to say the same thing. Like, whoa, here we are. We're here. So that's pretty much how my whole life been. It's just like just crossing over bridge after bridge after bridge. Um, some bridges I don't cross back. I mean, once I cross a bridge, the, I'm, I'm over the bridge. I don't look back. Um, I don't plan on being lost wife at all. Um, I used to always be, be read that parable when I went to church with my grandmother. They used to always instill that in me. Well, us, um, they used to always talk about uh, just not looking back. So at this point now... Um, Today um, has been nothing but uh, a confirmation for uh, my, my soul and myself um, that we have been on the right track about the prophecies that that has been predicted for my life. I don't know about anybody else's, but to, um, what I'm going through right now has already been done, seen, heard about, read about. So there is nothing for me uh, to fret about at all. Um, moving on to things I spoke to my mom. She's, uh, my earthly, she's, uh, she's well. And, uh, yeah, right now I just, right now I'm just living on love and light. I'm just living off who I really am. And it feels good, um, to get myself out of um, sticky situations, um, instead of just sitting there like a fly in a trap wobbling all around for a few days i'm just glad uh what you see under my arm is a rose quartz all right and then i have a, a clear quartz I, I put them under my arm because this is a major energy outlet for me um it's very um it's, it's, it can be very vulnerable um so i just have to seal it up just to protect my energy and this and it seems to have been working um it's been working lately so uh uh, pretty much, uh, I've also changed my entire diet. I've changed my diet. I love chicken wings. I love them. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm never saying that I'm never going to touch a chicken wing in my life. Because you never know um, what situations you may have to face where you may have to eat a chicken wing just to survive. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you never don't never rule anything out when it comes to your survival. Just take care of yourself up until the point where if you have to eat a chicken wing, it's not going to bother you. So, at this moment, um, I'm just clearing away all type of debris that doesn't need to be there. Um, actually, it's clearing itself because I'm not feeding it anymore. So, it's actually removing itself. I have a, like an a automatic garbage disposal. It's like automatically takes out the trash. When it, shit that doesn't need to be there is gone. And, you know, you just get tired of being in the flat trap. Um, and just being sticky and not being able to move around or not knowing how to get yourself out of those traps. Oh, I kind of, I felt kind of possessive right there. Like, whoa, did you feel that? Wow. Like something else was like inside of me. Like, yeah. But right now I feel really good. Um, I'm doing the electric food thing. I'm, I'm, I got a seven day challenge out right now. It's called the mindful eating challenge. And, um, anybody out there, you can feel free to join me if you like. Let me pull up the menu so maybe you would like to join me, huh? So it's called the Mindful Eating 7-Day Challenge. And the goal is to um, create creative new ways to consume electric foods. What does that mean? It means to just make eating healthy fun. Even if this shit doesn't turn out good, it doesn't. It makes it easy. It's like an arts and craft, but you get to eat it. So, uh, it, it makes healthy eating fun, innovating, fresh, and, uh, you, it, it keeps you mindful that I'm eating this so my body can function healthy and accordingly as it should instead of the diabetic way, high blood pressure way. So Monday I have a billion 
Um, it's a mango, pineapple, banana, honeydew, ginger blend. I didn't do it today. I just did the mango, pineapple, strawberry, and banana. Um, but I'm going to probably do this one tomorrow. Um, I also did a to tofu buffalo thingy. I did one in the air fryer and I did it on the stove. All I did was get some baking soda, put a little garlic, onion, I mean, not garlic, but onion powder, some organic. Everything is organic, by the way. And, um, I just put a little onion powder on there, a little Cajun seasoning. And then I put the bacon, um, soda and fried it. The baking soda was cool. I, it could have got a, it could have been a little crunchier, but I also made some homemade um hot sauce that I got off one of the brothers' channels. I mean, he did it like the quick ghetto fabulous way, like not too much. He didn't tear me too long. He just did it one, two, three, boom. I forgot his name, but um I'm gonna give him a shout out next time. I make another one so you guys can go and follow him and you know, to, for some people that really can't understand those thousand ingredients and all those thousand steps, he just made it nice and simple, A, B, C, and D. So, um, my hot sauce came out really good. It, it came out too good. It's hot as hell. It was really hot. So, it was like hot like hell. And I also did like some, um, I did some sweet potato thin french fries. They were cool. I just did them with the, the hot sauce or whatever, the um, homemade. And the homemade... What is it? the habaneros made out of habaneros? Um, red onion. What else do we have? Olive oil. I mean, grapeseed oil. Saute them. Put it in the blender. Put your own seasoning in there. I, I hit man with a lemon, and it came out really nice. It's nice, nice and thick. So uh, tomorrow, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Tuesday. Tuesday, I'm just I'm going to do a cucumber salad, cucumber and tomato salad. I'm going to do that with some spinach, and then I'm going to probably hit it with some uh, Dr. CB's tortillas, the vegan kind, and then I might do um, a, a fried mushroom hat. This is going to be an alternative to a burger. You take the top of the, of the, of the mushroom, uh, you use your um, chickpea flour. I like spelt flour by Red Meal because it, it kind of stick the texture, it sticks a little harder. But right now I have chickpea flour. I'm going to use that. I can fry it. I have some plant-based bread. No non-GMOs. It's gluten-free. And um, probably toast that bad baby. Hit it with some avocado, mayonnaise, homemade rather. And just make a burger. Or I can take the mushroom top. Open up the top. Stuff it with some brown rice, spinach, mushrooms, and uh, shit. <laughs> What else? I said, yeah. And then hit it with the uh, the onion and mushroom uh, gravy. So, yeah, I'm on the roll right now. I'm looking at myself. Um, my skin is good. It's, it's nice. I smoke tobacco. I don't smoke Newports anymore. It is a big difference. Um, I smoke tobacco and I, you know, I do indulge in my, my greeneries, which are, you know, nice. Um, and I, I'm not going to be a hypocrite about anything because there's no right or wrongs to anything. Nothing is wrong. Only is wrong is when you overindulge with whatever you do. You can't have too much of anything. So, um, Tuesday, that's what we're going to do Tuesday. What else? Um, that's pretty much about it. Um, like I said, this is my pilot. I just want to see how everything is going to work out. But I think I'm just going to post it anyway because if I keep doing pilots, this is like my 30th pilot that I've never released. I think I'm just if I just keep saying, oh, this is a pilot. This is a pilot. What am I waiting on? What am I waiting on? And I'm waiting on to get my hair done. Am I waiting on to put some earrings on my, you know, like what am I waiting on? I'm just going to upload it. If someone um, is inspired by it, you know, I appreciate that. But right now, I'm just trying like the rest, you know, like everybody else, just trying to find, well, I found myself. I'm just trying to keep myself. And that's what's going on. But other than that, um, I definitely highly recommend the Rose Course because it's all about unconditional love. Even when you are in their worst, um, the worst times, or, you know, you might be having difficult times. It will keep you grounded to keep love in your heart, to keep love first, and to have an understanding from wherever you're going through or wherever it's coming from. It just, 
to hold your heart. It, it just reminds you to hold your heart and keep your heart. Don't never lose your heart no matter what you're going through. Don't let them take your heart. And when it comes to the the crystal quartz, um, the crystal quartz I just learned um, about the crystal quartz can activate um, yeah, our subconscious uh, from one of uh, the brothers. You know, the brothers are really smart and Man, they got it going on when it comes to the spirituality thing. I suggest that, sisters, you get you an indigenous brother. You get you someone that is going to teach you, um, not mistreat you, but they're going to teach you to be a woman and to know your self-worth. It's going to, going to teach you, um, they're just going to teach you just, they're going to help you pull yourself, you know, just it's just something different between a conscious brother and just a brother just walking down the street. They don't got no business just, you know, just trying to find something to drink on. Um, so understand the difference between what's what's good for you, what's good for your soul, um, what's good for your 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 enlightenment, for your ascension. We all want to go up and stay there, raised and stay there. So, um, like I said, I have an experience. I, I've experienced a lot here, and I just know um, if I knew now what I if I knew now back then what I knew now, it'd be a whole different. But hey, who cries over spilled milk? We're here right now. We're not too far back from the past, like the brother said, and we're not too far in the future. We're just right here, and we're just chilling. And um, everything is everything. That's it. Um, we can't worry about tomorrow. We can't worry about later on tonight. The only thing we can do is just breathe through everything and be and stay 100. Just stay 100. Keep your heart and try, try, try to eat right the best way you can. Mindful eating. Um, the conditioning that we've been through, it, it, it has our whole brain tricked that we can only eat a certain type of way, which is bullshit. All we have to do is eat on repetition. Eat, eat, make your, okay, like the first time I tried to be a vegan, it got redundant because I was eating the same thing. I didn't open up other avenues in my mind. Let me try this. Let me try to do this. You have to make it work for yourself and, um, and, and you have to trick your mind. And that's what I learned. You have to just trick your mind that list. We're going in a whole nother direction. And you have to trick your mind like this is all that, that we have to offer. And this is all we have. So you have to put it out your mind that some of this shit that you used to eat don't even exist anymore. And once you do that, you trick your mind not to even want it anymore. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind. That is the trick. So anyway, um, thank you for tuning into my show. It's called Free Jewels. The jewels are free. Um, they cost zero dollars. And um, the only thing I can tell you is that I'm not a guru. I'm not an expert at all of this stuff. Only thing I'm an expert at is unconditional love and being 100% genuine and real. I can, I can tell you about that all day. If you need to know anything about Nikola Tesla, this is not the channel. Bobby Hammett, his channel down the street. Um, like I said, the only thing I can bring you is the stories that come from my experiences. Real testimony coming from a real soul. Y'all have a great night. And I think I did okay. Yeah. You can comment below. Tell me what you oh, I need to critique and what I need to work on. I'll shade to you. Peace un, be unto you and yours. We all we got. Have a good one.